Hello everyone, welcome to Times TV. Today we bring you to the beautiful Royal Opera House, Muscat, in a conversation with a very special guest, who's fragrance specialist, historian, and perfumer, whose fragrances are sold all over the world in different department stores. Please welcome Roja Do. Thank you so much for Hello. joining us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, it's absolutely our pleasure. Could you, we, so we heard that you have created a very different fragrance this time mm -hmm. in collaboration with Lakme. Could you tell us a little of about course. it? So, um, Oman is a very special place because it's where we opened the very first Roger Parfum shop anywhere in the world. Of really? all the countries we could choose, we chose Oman. And uh, I heard that there was going to be a new production of the opera Lakme. I don't know if people realize how unusual it is for there to be a new production of an opera. Mm -hmm. But uh, so it was very exciting. And I've always loved opera since I was very young. And so I thought of the story of Lakme, and I thought you have two really famous pieces of music in it. Mm -hmm. One of them is called the Flower Duet. Mm -hmm. So how great is that as a perfumer? The idea of two flowers dancing around each other in the composition. And the second is a song called the Bell Aria, or Bell Song. And in the part of the opera where this is sung, Lakme goes into the village or the town, and she sings a song to try to attract her lover. And so I thought that this song, as it's sung, is all about happiness. Mm -hmm. And so we have uh, in perfumery a very old-fashioned term for the flower lily of the valley. Mm -hmm. uh, in French, the word cloche means a bell, so tinkle, tinkle, mm -hmm. like the song. And uh, lily of the valley used to be called clochette de bonheur, which means the bells of happiness or mm -hmm. the good time. And so in the perfume, I used two flowers dancing. Wow, that's beautiful. And I used Lily of the Valley tinkling to attract the lover. And then because the opera is based in India, the most, one of the most famous raw materials from India is, of course, sandalwood. Mm -hmm. The best sandalwood in the world comes from Mysore. Uh, this sandalwood needs to be at least 30 years old before we can use it. And then uh, it has a little touch of frankincense or Louvain. Mm because we're in the Royal Opera House. Yes. <laughs> so it's a perfume which uh, really looks like the opera at the idea of East and West. Mm. And so I used, um, there's a rose that you can smell here, which is very rare. Look at the color, the color's astonishing. Mm. Uh, this rose is called Rose de May because it flowers only in the month of May. It comes only from a tiny town in the south of France called Grasse. Mm -hmm. And the entire year's production of this is less than one day's production of Bulgarian rose. Oh. So it's the rarest rose uh, in the world. It's a Western rose, so I combined it with rose taif, which of course is a rose from yes. this region. So if you want to smell it, you'll smell the most incredibly intense rose. Oh my God. It took over 300,000 flowers picked by That's hand beautiful. before the sun touched them to make that oil, uh, oh one kilo God, of that oil. Absolutely. Stunning, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> so that's the rose. That's one of the flowers from the flower duet. I'm sorry, I think I need to just, you know, keep some samples in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put those in your bag, make your bag smell nice. The next of these is um, in the opera, uh, the other flower of the flower duet is in fact jasmine. And whilst there is jasmine in the perfume, the main flower I chose to use is a very special material called oris. Mm -hmm. And oris is a, a type of root or a bulb of the iris flower. So we actually never use the flower, we use this material. This material takes six years to produce and it costs three and a half times the price of gold. It's a very rare material to smell. But when you smell it, it's very soft. So, oh, the, so this this op this part of the opera is where the two, the Lakme and her maid go in uh, to bathe. So I like the idea of the softness. Yes, very soft, and very, very nice. feminine. Oh, yes, beautiful. So here we have these two flowers going to dance around each other, and tonight at the world premiere, they will put this perfume into the auditorium as the flower duet is sung. So the whole auditorium will become wow, scented. So you have everything sorted out. How nice out. is that? 100%. <laughs> so that's nice. Then next we come with this material, which along with the sandalwood, which I already spoke about, this is cedarwood. Mm -hmm. And I use cedarwood because it takes a little bit of sweetness out. I didn't want the perfume to be too sweet. Mm -hmm. So when you smell it, you smell it's very warm and dry. Smell it? It's it very distinctive. Lovely. Now, if you don't mind, can I take, you keep that one in your yeah. hand. Let me give you this and put these two together. And if you could just do this with them, 
waft them under your nose. So you smell orris and you smell cedar together. Got it? Wow. But this is the special material. It smells completely different now. Yeah. And this is orris and cedar distilled at the same time. So with this, you get a chemical reaction rather than the physical reaction, mm. and you smell it softer. Yes, it is softer. And so this is all about a love story. Lakme is a love story. And so in this perfume, softness, because it's a love that's forbidden. Mm. And it therefore is a very, very tender love. And I think this material, it's called Oris Sous Cedre. Mm -hmm. Speciality material is a perfect material for the base. And then, uh, then this. This is this material used to be called Clochette de Bonheur, Lily of the Valley. So you smell saying a little fresh, sweet, delicate. And it's like light dancing on water or little bells tinkling. The smells are so distinctive and lovely and refreshing. <laughs> I mean, I, it's hard for me to decide which one is my favorite, you know? Okay, well, let's see if combined is your favorite. <laughs> so this is, and this is how when you put these three perfumes, uh, these different materials together, how so this all four smells. together but in yeah, here? And many, many other materials too. So the perfume formula is big oh and long. Oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. I just had explosion in my head right now. This so you like it? Oh yes, def I'm definitely gonna buy this one. Good. So you have... Oh my God, this is amazing. So this is the box I designed uh, for it. And you'll see on the front, uh, the, the interior is black. My idea was like just before a performance starts, you sit in the black of the yes. auditorium and you stare at the curtain, Absolutely. waiting for the curtain to open. So this is like the show just about to start. Right there, and ta -da. inside, ta -da, <laughs> inside is black velvet because all of the seats, whilst they're not black, they're red, but you sit on a velvet, velvet seat seats, yeah. before the show starts and the show is the perfume. So on the front, you'll see the same design and this little motif here and the motif you see here are the lilies of the valley mm -hmm. from the famous Bel Aria Bell song. So may I put a little bit of this on your skin? You'll see how, you're, see how you'll find it. Oh my God, can I just, just keep it in my of back course. please? Do what, oh no, that you're not allowed to do it. It's Jack's, he'll tell me off, it's the only one we have this here. This is absolutely yeah. refreshing. You like it? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank I you. think this is going to be my most favorite perfume to well, date now. You know, there are only 500 bottles made. That's it. Oh my so God. It's a limited edition this for is, the That's premiere. really limited. On the back, it tells you the story of uh, the bell song and the uh, flower duet. Mm -hmm. So it tells you the ingredients. And on the side, it tells you how very uh, proud I am that this is a collaboration between me and the Royal Opera House in Muscat. And the little design up on the top, when you go into the Opera House and you watch a performance, this is all along the yeah. stage. I absolutely love how you have put, you know, every detail into this beautiful packaging and the Thank bottle you. and the fragrance. It's just incredible. Well, it was a lovely project to work on because the story, the story of Lakme is a very hmm. uh, easy story for us all to understand. Um, I particularly like the fact of East meets West or West meets East hmm. because that's absolutely the story yeah. of the past, but it's also the story of the future because Modern travel allows us to all understand the world more, to meet different people and different cultures. You can say that what the Royal Opera House is doing is the same, actually, that it brings, I'm sure, many, many tourists will come and they'll come and visit and see things here which they maybe would not see at mm. home. But also when you bring um, a, a, something like a Western opera uh, to the Gulf, maybe a lot of people from the Gulf have not had the opportunity to experience that. Sure. So it allows us to all, ex all of us to experience lots and lots of new and different things. So what really just got my mind right now is you said it's only 500 production. Mm -hmm. Is this all in Oman or it's worldwide? Only in Oman. Uh, even in our shop in Oman, you can't buy it. It's, I made it for the Royal Opera House in Moscow. Wow, so, so I think you'll be seeing me standing in the line today. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so it's, um, you know, it's a really lovely, lovely collaboration. It really has been a collaboration mm. too. I mean, it's really, really been a collaboration. And who knows, but uh, we had conversations this morning about potentially 
there might be other things coming because we have loved working together. So how long did it take you to decide to collaborate and you know, create this beautiful fragrance? Well, when I was asked, it didn't take me long at all to say, yes, I'd love to. <laughs> so I could say, oh, no, I had to think about that for a long time, but that wouldn't be true. I was asked and it was a huge honor to be asked. And so the answer was yes, straight away. Mm -hmm. And the scent itself maybe was about six months work, something six like that. Work. So not so long, I mean, long enough, but mm -hmm. uh, it took about six months. So in all, maybe the project has taken, I think about nine months from the beginning to the end. Well, the end being the, actually at start. It's so I always, say, I always say when I make something, it's like giving birth to it, you know, <laughs> and that, and, because now it comes to life. Right. Up until now, it's been growing and as an idea. And the story behind this production is just stunning. Yeah, it's you know, nice, like isn't it? everything is just there in the right order. Yeah. So you had a clear idea what exactly you wanted, how you wanted totally, it to be. Totally, totally, totally. And if you look on the bottom of the box, all of this is a design on the bottom of the curtain in the mm -hmm. Royal Opera House. Everything is a reference to the opera, the Royal Opera House, to Oman. Oh God, nice. you have got a really <laughs> queer eye right there. Um, so when is going to be the next batch of production? I don't know, there is another batch. I'm sure mm -hmm. this is going to be sold out <laughs> right know. away. I'm well, sure. Well, if they come bang on my door, say, make some more. But are you planning to do it once if, you know, you get more orders? If and we get, uh, well, uh, the orders have to come through the Royal Opera House, so yes. I have no idea until we end up getting an email from them, I think. But uh, <laughs> I know that already it, it, it actually um, isn't on sale anywhere, but I know already mm. several hundred have been sold already. That I was told this morning. So, um, I better get my bottle today. <laughs> <laughs> so last question, what was the inspiration idea behind it? Uh, well, the inspiration was uh, the Middle East is famous for scent hmm. all around the world. I mean, maybe the greatest lovers of perfume in the world come from this, this part of the world. And so a collaboration between a perfumer and another creative force, because the Royal Opera House in Muscat is a creative force. Yeah. So put two creative people together and you will never stop us. <laughs> so the minute uh, this morning, when I was sitting uh, with His Highness, and uh, it was the first time that we had met, but you know we've had a lot of exchange, but first time we have met, and already I think we have thought of things we maybe will do next year, the year after, and the year after that. So this so is just the beginning. I hope that it's the beginning of a really precious relationship. Uh, I am sure it will be uh, and I feel it will be but a really very precious relationship. Thank you so much for talking to us and sharing this incredible uh, product here and I'm Thank definitely you. going to be stealing those samples. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you so much. Wishing you Thank all you. the best Thank and you. Uh, hope to see you soon. I hope so too. Maybe I'll smell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's 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 with you right there. <laughs> Thank you. For more interesting videos keep watching Times TV.